What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Chad Eo here. Today, we're back for some more Open All Hours, and today's episode is called The New Suit. Looks like somebody's getting a new suit. Let's get into it, shall we? Ram bell! Washing the windows, as always. Poor guy. Feel bad for him. Yeah, heart right. Oh, and I'll have a dozen a day, a day, a dozen a dozen a day, day. I'll have a dozen a day, a day and walnut. And don't think that's three dozen. I've just done. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, what is funny? I think you need the sweet. Okay, Granville. I can't hear you moving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay you for not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the dead tap dancing Gene Kelly, get on with it. <laughs> having a quiet think. What's wrong with having a moment's quiet think? You'll finish up with a blackheads and a greasy complexion. <laughs> we have to live life at such a pace there is no time for a moment's pause. A pausing can be dangerous. Why can it be dangerous? Because if I catch you at it, I'll hit you with that brush. That's right. <laughs> the shopkeeper's first commandment, thou shalt not be motionless. I know, look, he's pouring with rain outside. I cannot sweep the pavement today. Well, then, mop it, pop it, mop it. <laughs> you don't like getting up in the morning. That's your trouble. I don't mind getting up in the morning. It's this getting up in the middle of the night that worries me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a question of attitude. Yeah, I know, yours. You want to gag a greet the day with a smile, put a bit of energy into it, and man, make a firm resolve to always help somebody every day to suspend a few bob. <laughs> Gene money, money, Kelly money. never used to complain when it rained, did he? No. Mind you, he had a fair bit of overtime, didn't he, eh? <laughs> Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> nice. That's pretty funny. It's like Markham and Weiss, their parody. That was fantastic. <laughs> Ew. Doesn't work out that well, does it? A slashing in it. <laughs> oh, right in the puddle. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. What are you doing? Stop all this a turp sickery. Come <laughs> on in before someone sees you. You'll 
What a miserable life Grand Bill lives. What a poor guy. Sausage. Now it is a sausage with uh, a fluff on it. Look at that. Yeah. You can get copyright that, you know. Granville's for fluffy sausages for stuffing sofas. There you are. <laughs> damn fool. I was just reading where this great big slimy, creepy, crawly thing came sliding through the door. Oh, that'll be me and Mr. McIntyre for his embrocation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe that there is a destiny that shapes our ends? <laughs> It's funny you should say that, you know. That's funny you should say that. I was just sitting here contemplating my breakfast, wondering whether there was a destiny that shapes our ends. <laughs> we must have an opinion. All right, then. If you want my opinion, I must stress that this is only a layman's opinion, mind you, but I think if the average man had been uh, responsible for shaping his own end, then things would have turned out a lot better looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Look, why do you stuff your head with these uh, creepy stories, Granville? Because I'm interested in the supernatural. Oh, so am I. So am I. I'm interested in things that go by bump in the night. The trouble is trying to persuade a nurse Gladys Emanuel to get into <laughs> Don't delay me, Arkwright. I've got patients to see. You mustn't soil these medicinal hands, my love. I'm only wiping my windscreen. <laughs> Not while I'm here. No fiancé of mine is going to stoop to menial chores while I'm there present. Oh, right then. Granville, fetch your clock. <laughs> Leave him alone, you slave driver. I might have known. Oh, he'll dare do it for you. He won't. He's got quite enough on his plate as it is. He seems to have time to sit there filling his head with uh, uh, horror stories. <laughs> I suppose it's only natural. He's been living with this monster for years. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, listen, I can come over and, and bite your neck for you when your mother's gone to bed. I'm washing my hair tonight. What, again? You washed it last week. <laughs> uh, well, what are you washing it again for? Going out tomorrow. Uh oh Out? That's right. Out. Out? On a Sunday? Well, then don't you get enough excitement during the week uh, checking on people's bowel movements? <laughs> <laughs> Without gallivanting around on a Sunday? <laughs> No need to get so upset. When you're going out, it's not as though I'm doing something really shocking like asking you for credit. <laughs> uh, where are you going? Find your own allotment. Oh, oh, that's a nice thing to say to someone who, who hand picks your walnut whipples for you. There's <laughs> nothing to get hypertense about. Save your high blood pressure for the inland revenue. That's a terrible thing to say. What is? Inland revenue. <laughs> Here. It, well, why do, don't I come with you, eh? But you wouldn't enjoy it. It's a sort of medical gathering. Oh, I've, I've heard about them sorts of gatherings. Nurses and doctors, all uh, playing doctors and nurses. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me with you. That's the trouble, isn't it? You wouldn't enjoy it. And I've told you repeatedly, you're not taking me anywhere till you get a new suit. Oh, dear. What's wrong with me suit? If you want a medical opinion, let's put it this way. I've seen better things than that on the floors of ambulances. <laughs> that looks so miserable. It was bound to happen. You need a new suit. Well, I don't see why. I'll tell you why. I'm never again going out with you till you do get a new suit. Wow. I love the dynamic of their... Well, uh, when I bought it, it, it were a new suit. <laughs> Gotta love the now, dynamic of their relationship. In your opinion, is there any need for me to be wasting a good money on a new suit? 
Yes. <laughs> oh, well, if that's your attitude... Well, you ask me. Well, I know I ask you, Gran, but I respect your opinion. Well, all right, then. But the way I phrased the question, it was perfectly obvious that you should have said, no, you don't need a new suit. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, you do need a new suit. <laughs> Who asked your opinion? <laughs> Lovely child, madam. Bring him to Bickerdyke when he needs his first formal garment. Lovely little child. <laughs> a decent suit, I like it. Good boiler hat, too. Morning, Arkwright. Yeah, morning, Bickerdyke. How's shopkeeping? Oh, there's no money about. Enough for a new suit, apparently. You did ask me to call. Oh, yes, yes. I'm, I'm looking for something uh, hard wearing and, uh, well, uh, how can I put it? Cheap. <laughs> you always had a very shrewd <laughs> business instinct, the bigger dyke. You should go far. How is the tailoring? There's no money about. No. <laughs> you see, we're all for feeling the squeeze. And what with this new uh, slimming fad, I should think the bottom's gone completely from your lady's trousers. <laughs> you still knocking off the district nurse? <laughs> Are you still knocking off a big discount for cash? <laughs> I can do you a good price for the fuller figure. Oh, uh, how is Mrs. Bickerdyke? <laughs> Hard working, conscientious, upright, still as miserable as ever. <laughs> uh, what colour did you have in mind? Well, I, I usually have my neighbour, you see. Usually? Must be 30 years since you had a new suit. You call that usually? Wow. 47. I haven't gotten a new suit in, uh, how long have I had my suit? Maybe 12 years? It's still in style. I keep telling myself that. I never wear it. But I do have a suit for nice occasions. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, but I can't just wear it a tape measure, can I? <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you got that says uh, rugged and hard wearing and, and, and tough, apart from Mrs. Bickerdyke? <laughs> oh, that woman. 47. Oh, and I shall need something with a, a reinforceable back pocket, you know. <laughs> 47. Oh. And it's not that I don't like women. No. It's not as if I'm biased. I can get on with other men's wives. 47 inch waist. Not as often as I'd like, maybe. <laughs> oh, 46. Oh, that makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> well, what about you and that Mrs. Tatasol? Well, she's not getting any younger. In fact, She's becoming a bit of a nuisance. Uh -oh. What she needs, I keep on telling her, is a reconciliation with her husband, a return to the arms of that patient good man. Yep. But he's dead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of other people's problems. Have a look at these samples. Oh, no, no, samples are no good. I can't wear samples. I want something I can wear tomorrow. What, oh, you mean... Something off peg? Well, yes, I, I don't want the pe peg left in it, do I? No. <laughs> of course, I want something ready to wear. Well, I'll see if I can find something. Yes. You know your inside leg? As well as anybody. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how long it is? Yes, it's, it's just the right length. It exactly reaches the floor. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Right. Oh boy, this doesn't look right. <laughs> it's all right, uh, Mrs. Blewett. It's just the other VAT man come for an arm and a leg. <laughs> well, I'll see what I've got in van. Oh, I'm gonna get a rebate. Oh, good. Yep. Don't uh, worry, Mrs. Blewett, it's all right. It's just my tail, I love. Measuring you for new trousers, was he? No, no, he was just uh, giving me an MOT on the old one. <laughs> Uh, what can I do you for, Mrs. Blewett? I'll have half a pound of rice, please, Mr. Artwright. Half a pound of rice, certainly. Uh, is that sweet or savoury? Well, it's for throwing at a wedding. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, white or brown? White, I suppose. Oh, I only ask because we've had quite a few brown weddings here lately. <laughs> Where's that lady who, uh, who's so indecisive? She gets on my nerves, but I still adore her. Hopefully she comes in this episode. 
What's this free gift up, right? Hmm? It's oh. not like you. <laughs> no, well, it, it's, it's just competition, Mrs Blewett. Uh, it's a little incentive for the small shopper, you see. Yes, it's just a little handy container in a choice of colours. What sort of colour would you prefer? How do I know when I don't know what it is? Oh, well, uh, allow me to choose it for you, will you? Now, let me see. That's uh, uh, half a pound of rice, Mrs Blewett. That'll be 16p, thank you. Anything else at all uh, while you're here? Where's my free gift? Oh, I've, I've taken the liberty of, of putting your rice in it. Ha, <laughs> 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 Yes, that's right, yes. Uh, would, you, would you prefer a white one to match the rice? <laughs> or perhaps a, a black one to match the look on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's got some suits. Oh, no. Oh, oh God, me jacket's fast. <laughs> you can reach back and get it. Oh, stupid donkey. suit away if you're going to get a new one. No, no, I'm, I'm going to have it yeah, dry cleaned and then I'm going to put it away for a second. I mean, the jacket looks good. The pants, it doesn't really go with it, but the jacket looks nice. Maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. Not really good with uh, trends and styles, so. But I like it. I like the jacket. looks nice. Best. Of course, in a perfect world, you know, this suit should be pressed every night. Tiny needs Underneath to go. Nurse Gladys Emanuel. <laughs> I wonder where I wonder where she's going tomorrow. I wish you'd have tell me. Cranberry, you're not still reading them horror stories. If my father was Hungarian, <laughs> do you realise it's just possible that I could be related to Count Dracula? Oh dear, <laughs> dear, dear. I don't look much like Count Dracula dressed like this, do I? No. I'm gonna fail abysmally as a vampire dressed like this. Well, you're know, not tall enough to go around uh, biting people in the neck, are you? <laughs> sure. I'll carry a stool. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you could you could be absolutely by world famous, you know, if you were the first little vampire to bite people in the elbow, couldn't you? <laughs> no, no. Right, me like <laughs> Come on, listen, get old uh, Bickerdyke to drive his van round the corner and, and, and bring the suits in through the back. Well, I, I don't want people who are gawping at us. Yeah. Yeah, is it all right if I hurt? <laughs> Do you reckon he'd let me drive it round, eh? Well, if he doesn't, bite his elbow. <laughs> 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 no, 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 oh God, <laughs> here we go. Is he going to drag him or rip his suit? <laughs> Here, I'll go. Get that down your neck. No. Oh. That'll set your nerves. Thanks. Oh, get a pal. And your nephew's a lunatic. How was I to know? You, did you walk around the vehicle? Didn't you be screaming? Never heard a thing. Well, you know why? I was trying to shout through Addis Tweed. And me head bedded in Addis Tweed. He can smell the peat smoke, you know. Oh. I never heard a thing. I was just concentrating on my driving. My legs were going wobbly at knees. I only <laughs> drove it a few yards. Yuck. Oh, directions. that's awful. That jacket sucks. Which reminds me, boy, I knew your mother. <laughs> really? How well did you know me mother? Oh, quite well. <laughs> well, 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 when I say quite well, I mean hardly at all, really. You drink your beer, Eli. Eli? What's wrong with Eli? Nothing. <laughs> One of my favourite names is Eli. Look, don't stand there going... Is, is 
Is he going to think this guy's his father now? Hmm. Grimacing? Could it be Go on, deal with the customers. Hey, what customers? Well, there's Eli for a start. He's just bought two beers, 84 <laughs> beers. <laughs> How well did he know me mother? Just to smile and take his money, will you? That's what she would have done. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see, it's like that then, is no, it? No, it's not like that at all. You know Watch very well fingers. that your mother never used her head for business. <laughs> uh, quite the reverse, in fact. <laughs> hey, Eli, come on, let's have a look at that uh, uh, gents and natty suiting of yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yes! Take me bread now. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so that'll be 54, please. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the right change? <laughs> Don't think so. Sorry, love. It's all right. Do you reckon that they can stitch fingers back on these days? <laughs> Why don't you get into slapping that spring? No, it's all right. You get used to it. Oh, he's up down the, the dulcet tones and worse gladys. I say you've got a couple of nice squashy ones there, love. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Look, I don't mind you in a strive for a change, but I'm not being seen with anybody who can hire himself out as a deck chair. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to buy stripes, am I? I'm just trying this on for size. Well, excuse me, would you like to try this on for size, please? Oh, I'll give it here, Deirdre. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it. Between that and the bacon slicer, I don't know how you cope round here. Uh, come on, uh, give us a clue. Well, where are we going tomorrow, eh? You mean, where am I going? Oh, I wish you'd uh, let me come with you. You hear such a terrible stories about what happens to women in their lonely places. Why is it you never hear about what happens to errand boys in lonely places? Right. I've been assaulted three times seriously in the last few years. There, there you are, you see. Jeez. And every time it was you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've found something. Oh. Try this. <clears throat> oh, now that's a nice change. That looks there you are, you see. The lady has an eye. Yeah, that's not all she's got either. Uh -huh. If she get into a struggle with her, she's got a good left hook and all. Try it on. I know. When I do try it on, that's when I get the left hook. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Slant pocket, single vent, very sporting, yet firmly modelled on the traditional hacking jacket. I like that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a nice slit up the back. <laughs> A single vent. Yes. Had you been browsing through society magazines, you would have seen the Duke of Winchester has one just like it. The uh, Duke of Winchester's got a slit up the back. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. For sporting purposes, certainly. <laughs> I better blame the public schools, you know. <laughs> no, it's no good. As a shopkeeper, I can't walk around with a hacking slit up the back. <laughs> No, I should always be worried about security at the rear of my premises. <laughs> Men, they're stubborn at his age. Yeah. You can't do a lot with them. But if she liked it, then he should have just been like, if it's up to Gladys' standards, Nurse Gladys gets what she wants. But he's too cheap and weird. Set in the ways. <laughs> I have to nurse them, you don't need to tell me. They're just as bad when they're lying in bed. I get more trouble from one pair of pyjamas than 15 nighties. <laughs> hey, but why didn't you put this one on? Oh, this is a lovely. Look at that. That's what I could call a suit. That's your that. old suit. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, oh, she's got the utility mark in the side. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got something similar to this? Well, yes, I have. I didn't think you'd want same again. Oh, yes, that's what I want. I'll have exactly the same again. Oh. Look, if you've got a new suit of some description, you can pick me up at two o'clock tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> He's gonna just put on a new tie. This new, it's a new tie. <laughs> well, uh, what do you think of the new suit, Granville? Ooh. Uh, nice. 
Well, you needn't explode with enthusiasm. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. If I knew you were going to get all excited, I wouldn't have asked you. It's like your old suit. <laughs> Not entirely. It looks just like your old suit. I know, and I'm telling you that it differs in certain pair particulars. Oh, yeah, like where? It's got a... A slit in the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect, so fishy, fishy. <laughs> You know, uh, pss, pss. <laughs> zip fly. Oh, it's zip fly. Uh, oh, well, I'll go to the foot of my sock. <laughs> it's not funny. He hadn't got a single suit on that van with a button fly. <laughs> Everybody has zip flies these days. Yeah. No wonder it's the age of the microchip. <laughs> used to having a button fly. Well, the button flies went out with Queen Victoria. Well, I'm going out with Nurse Gladys Emanuel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not entirely. No, but, but I don't know what you're worried about. Is it worse than death? Well, does it? No, does it? How can you tell unless you, 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 you keep trying it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? You can't keep going out and going... <laughs> I've got to. How else can I re reassure myself? Oh, the big should have warned me, you know. Hey, oh, that reminds me. What? How well did Bickerdyke know my mother? Oh, no, not very well at all. Tailors are a race of a prone to exaggeration. Comes of sitting uh, cross-legged on hard surfaces for longer periods, you know. <laughs> buy a new suit for this. Well, you know you needed one. Well, not for this. Well, you would insist on coming. That's well, true. you made such a secret of it, didn't you? Well, as a qualified medical person, I have to approach this sort of fringe medicine with discretion. But I thought I'd give him a chance to cure me wart. <laughs> I've tried everything else. Your wart? <laughs> Never you mind. Why don't we go and see what it's like, Doris? You might have to kneel down. <laughs> he heals people. No, I don't fancy it. Not with my back. Hell, uh, excuse me, but you'll have to excuse me. Why? Where are you going? Guess. Oh, I'll go and get a seat. Hurry up if you go in, you'll miss it. Fidget. I'm sorry, but I have to spend a penny. <laughs> you? Spend a penny? You're yeah. splashing out, aren't you? <laughs> <Good evening>. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling relaxed. You're tired. You want to sleep. You're going to sleep. A deep, deep sleep. <sighs> <laughs> no. What is wrong with you? Myself. My pss, pss, is stuck. Not stuck. You know my. Pss, pss. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have trusted it. <laughs> I don't suppose his curative powers extend to that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Once more. Of what use now is a crutch? <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder myself. <laughs> Sometimes works by delayed action. Oh,
show. <laughs> it's been a tiring day. It's a long walk home with your knees bent. Still, she was quite right not to allow me in a Morris Minor in my condition. Right. Trouble is, in spite of recent advances in medical hypnotism, there's still not much anyone can do about healing an open zip. Right. I wonder if I'm still engaged. Oh, she'll come round. I think I might pop across later and take her mind off her wart. <laughs> Now, if this was a Seinfeld episode, it would be called The Zipper. But no, that was funny. I enjoyed it. Uh, he got himself a new suit. So he's trying to do everything he can to keep Nurse Gladys satisfied. He just every time finds a way to mess it up and ruin things. But it, that's that's uh, arc right for you. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying this series. I hope you guys are too. I look forward to episode five. I can't wait for it. I'm very excited for it. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.